the AVLET Android Auto and Apple CarPlay device. That's what we're going to be looking at today. So play music, voice control, navigation, and touchscreen. So here's the device itself. Why did I get this one? I wanted one with a backup camera as well as one that had a USB-C uh, power source. The one I had gotten before, which I'll link to, did not have the USB-C power source and that was an issue for me. So I'm gonna open this plastic, open this up, show you everything that's in the box, and I'll do a separate video where I show you all the features with it set up and everything in my car. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, when I turn it on its side, this little flap comes down, pull this, open it up here. Cool, it has a little foam on the top. It's got the device itself right here, which I'll put aside for the moment. It's already on the adhesive stand. So I'll put that aside for a moment, look at that in a second, see what else is in the box. Down here you have a suction cup mount with an articulating arm so that it can go out, out and in so you make it longer or shorter as you need. You have a charger here, uh, comes with a USB charger and then has another USB, uh, USB-A attachment here so you can you know, use an, a second one to charge a phone. I'm guessing that's probably not that strong. I have a USB-C one already. Uh, that has multiple USB-C to USB-C, so I won't really need that. Then I got my camera here, which has plenty of length to the cord for your backup camera. And then also in here you have a little screwdriver. You got another piece of adhesive here. And you have an aux cable, came with one. It also has this little round disc here that I guess you can... Uh, attach it he adhere to something and put it there you got your warranty book and then you got your owner's manual which is quite sizable so let's go to the main unit which is what you really want to see here take the plastic off of this and here it says most import important please turn on your phone WLAN and Bluetooth when you first pair uh, do not put the car charger close to the car player or uh, to avoid interference, to prevent CarPlay from suddenly restarting, keep the phone at least 12 inches away. Uh, please turn off FM before leaving the vehicle to avoid interference. Yeah, you don't want that pop sound. And then activate warranty as well as access step-by-step -step guides right there on the screen. So let's see what we have going around here. We have a little power button right here on the top in the middle. So that should be easy to find. You got your speakers on the back. You have your little uh, a screw on and off for your base here. So it basically has the screw coming out of the back of it here. This is probably where the other screws come off so that if you wanna put on the other attachment, like this one here, you'd be able to do that. You'd screw this entire base on which is what I'm gonna have to do. So I'll take this off and then I won't be using this. I'll be using the suction cup base. So yeah, so let's see what else we got around the outside of the unit. Over here, you have just a speaker grill right there. You got some info right there. If you wanna pause the video, you can see that. And then over here are all your inputs. And so let me tell you what those inputs are. You got your aux input there. You have a spot for a micro uh, SD card. Right here you have a little AV in port and then you have your USB-C power port. So that's what you have on here. And I'm assuming the AV in is gonna be for your backup camera, which is what we have over here. So let me verify that for sure, real quick. And sure enough, AV in is for your backup camera. Basically, you run this to the back of the car on the outside, and then this little red wire will attach to the backup light so that you can have that whenever you put the vehicle in reverse. So that's that right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and power it up with a charger in my house, just so you can see how the screen looks. I'm gonna pull this off for the moment and uh, go ahead and let you see how the screen looks. All right, so I just turned it on. It said AV let. I'll just show you that, and uh, I'll just unplug it and plug it back in so you can see that. 
So I just plugged it in with, um, with a regular USB-C cord in my home. And as soon as it comes on, it has that little sound. You got Bluetooth there, so you can pair it. You can, I guess, re even change the name of the device if you want. I'm happy with that. Not connected right now. Uh, back to home. You got phone link. And it basically tells you how to do that. CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, AirPlay, Android Cast, or Bluetooth Music. You got brightness that you can adjust. Gets pretty bright. Goes down fairly dark, but I guess I'd have to see in the car whether it's as dark as I'd like it to be. But you can probably just press the button to turn the screen off if it's too bright at nighttime. You got sound right here, and you can adjust your sound accordingly. And then go back home. You got your little power button there, which allows you to turn it off, which is interesting because you have this one right here. Um, audio output, you can do through the speaker. Bluetooth audio to your car. FM or AUX. I'm going to be using AUX, but here's FM. And you can just change it, you know, one by one, little increments, or just kind of move it along pretty quickly to the right station that you want. And I'll be end, end up using the AUX opportunity, uh, situation. So um, let's see what other settings. Tip sound. I'm thinking that's where you're touching things. And so, yep, that's good. So if you want to let a little click and leave that on, if not, turn it off. Auto dimming. So you can have it auto dim at nighttime, which is kind of cool. Left or right hand drive. My car is left hand language. Assistive touch. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is. Clear connections. Uh, so it allows you to clear out if you, or factory reset. And um, let's see, one of the things that I was thinking was really nice about this is the touch responsiveness is really good. The other one I have is a couple, maybe about a year or two old, and the touch response isn't quite as good as this one is. And the uh, touch response here I think is really, really good. I'm liking it. So yeah, it's telling you how to connect to Android Auto, telling you how to connect CarPlay or whatever other things, Android Cast, and you can choose whatever it is, whichever way you want to go with it. And yeah, so just a quick, uh, from the unboxing perspective, I'm definitely a fan of this. I really like it. I, I have to um, try it for a couple days, see how I like it from there, but overall, not too wide. Now, sometimes you think, well, maybe I want wider, but if this is me, your windshield, you don't want it as wide. Well, sorry, as tall, right? Wide is fine, but tall might be an issue. So, so that's the uh, quick unboxing and showing you what it looks like. Uh, the colors that you're, I'm seeing on the screen are definitely pleasing. It may or may not translate on the what you're seeing, but overall, I think from the initial standpoint, initial unboxing and taking a look at this, um, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I'll test it out and check for my video when I have that done on what my thoughts are of the product overall. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.